I somehow I'm inclined to believe that whatever the climate, health, and other crises that we have is because of our sewage illiteracy. The problem is not making roads or how to obtain water or how to treat something. The main problem is poverty elimination. And poverty elimination, we have not been able to deal with or resolve simply because of our sewage illiteracy. But today's session, I just thought of, let us understand what is sewage. So the passing through all selection processes after hundreds of millions of years of experimentation, the nature produced the ultimate energy harvester. That is human gut. It's reject. We call it sewage, feces, excreta, whatever. There are various terms. It's a refuse of the biological system and therefore must be dealt with along the same biological principles. There may be other mechanical, physical, chemical parts available. So why understand sewage? It has two phases. One is sanitation that deals with public health. And second is climate stability. We know that the sewage production was never under lockdown even for a day in last two years. And sewage management to be sustainable, the future cities are in for a huge U-turn. And please remember that this U-turn has no components of BAU. So, a very coarse explanatory figure I am sharing with you. Suppose the food we take is 100 units of nutrients. It goes through my body, digestive tract. Suppose 60 units are absorbed by my body. That's my gain. Why only 60? Because I am throwing out 60 units. So that is the loss of my body. 40 units pass through just like that. In, in young body, it can be a different figure, but the total output would be 100 units of nutrients. This human body also throws out pathogens, which we call fecal pathogen or coliform. Coliform because they have origin in the human colon. In fact, all the 100 units should go back to the soil. Soil will give us crop. Crop will give us the next cycle of food. What happens is nutrients go to STP or sludge, go to the river, that goes to the sea. Now soil is the ultimate financial institute. The sanitation, sanitation, engineering, and agriculture go hand in hand. Detritus, sewage, and carbon dioxide are heavenly gift. If we have no carbon dioxide, where will be the next apple come from? Where will the next crop come from? So agriculture and sanitation are two sides of the same coin. Mining finite phosphate rocks is not sustainable. They offered uh, Bill, uh, Professor Bill, uh, ex-president Bill Clinton was with her. They went to Haiti and offered the Haiti president a lot of help. Ultimately, the president declined to accept any help. He said, sir, if you want to regenerate my soil, give me your poop. Your money cannot regenerate my soil. Because when French left Haiti, this is the only case in human civilization that Haiti paid back the last penny with interest to the French government with compensation and with all interest. So the poop has the secret of sustainability and fast degrading soil will not 
leave any chance for any sound economy. So there is all the efforts are being made on creating new resources. But if we understand how to save resources, so recovery has the answer, not new procurement. And the current sewage system world over is along the wrong line, I think. And I, I, I am open to correction if somebody has better suggestion. But lot of water, excess of water, trillions of liters of water world over. In aeration, where energy employed in aeration is 70% of the total energy engaged in base water system. So which came first? Oxygen utilizing structure or oxygen creating, which is chloroplast. So the mitochondria, that is the furnace, which utilizes oxygen came first. Earlier, enzymes of the mitochondria were attached with the cell membrane, but distinct furnace is, we know, uh, we know it. It came around minus 2.2 to minus 1.7 billion years ago. Chloroplast came much later, which gave us the free atmospheric oxygen. So aeration had no role in earlier reactions. Now there is one more misconcept with sewage engineering is that they take facultative as a switch on mechanism. Anaerobic organisms will switch on as soon as they open the aerator. That's not the fact. You can see on the left middle, acetyl coenzyme A goes through a condition. And if the pH is less than seven, acidic, it becomes anaerobic. And on the lower side, you see, if it is more than seven, then it becomes aerobic. Now, this facultative switch over takes 92 minutes and no STP offers this SRD. So a pathogen is born. Short chain fatty acids, which are glucose, I mean carbon molecules, six carbon or less. It produces another uh, molecule. Finally, it produces acetate, which is the excretory product of the bacteria. Under normal circumstances, flagella is in action and bacteria is a free swimming organism. These are various gene areas and pro uh, proteins produced, which render the bacteria free swimming organisms. On the other side, the current methods, they somehow disturb the microbial organisms and acetate accumulates in their body. They are unable to excrete acetate. Now that stressed flagellum, it degenerates. Energy is not available and capsule of the bacterium is lost. Now capsule provides bacterium with a defense against the virus. Once the capsule is lost, a bacteriophage can attack an E. coli and reverse transcriptase mechanism can the bacteria will start producing viral DNA products. So, a flagellated sedentary E. coli 
is now a parasite seeking a host and a pathogen is born. So e. coli itself is not a pathogen. It is a friend. A friend turns into a foe because of our intervention. So to do scientific sewage management, our STP should mimic human colony. And earlier it started with a septic tank. How does a septic tank resemble or differ from sewage treatment plants? How it can be scaled up? What is DVATS? What is MFSL? MFSL is mixed first separate later. World over this process is followed because we use water as a liquid carriage. Without water having any role. <clears throat> and what is sustainable program? These are the areas we'll discuss. So the septic tank is the black box. It has three distinct areas. The top is cum with specific gravity less than one. Liquid specific gravity is equal to one, which is the middle section. And the bottom part is sludge, which is... The bottom part is sludge, which has more than one specific gravity. Now, looking for the end of a pipe solutions without understanding the black box secrets leaves us nowhere. And this is happening world over. Now, this is the black box. We are concerned with the inlet and outlet analysis without trying to understand what is happening inside the black box. So, just to give you a simile, these are the currents in the septic tank, which gives us solid free sewer. We'll scale it up this, we utilize SFS. And this is how a human gut a colon provides an ideal model for septic tank to function. This is a septic tank. Shakti Bhatt has uh, installed it in Baroda. It is a four cubic meter below the invert level liquid level capacity and on the left you can see two pits black water and gray water are at source separated this is the place where the job was done this is a hostel where i was invited to construct a system in the unnad baradabyan but it has not gone through Dr. Raj had sent me a drawing for my observation. But a normal septic tank should have length to weight ratio, uh, weight ratio, one to four or more, minimum one to three. And depth should not exceed 2500 millimeter. Now, it can be a single chamber, it can be double chamber, it can be triple chamber, but the first chamber must have 50% of the tank volume. Now, primary, secondary, tertiary process, the engineer's call does not coincide with the primary process of the biological system. The sand particles and grit and heavier material, they settle down in the primary chamber. It's a flawed thinking because sand anyway will go down. Biological system does not produce sand. So sand is an exotic, is a courtesy infrastructure. Now, CN to C2, this is biological sedimentation. 
which takes nearly 20 to 21 days. And clear decant comes out. But clear in appearance does not mean pure. It takes 21 days. And once H2O smells, only then the biological primary system is over. Now I have, I have just depicted this, how black box reactions take place. Inlet DO is five to six. This is the fist. Fist and FEMA in the textbook uh, discuss this, this part of the fist, where there's a lot of organic mass, but the pH is 5.4, then it becomes pH seven, it goes up. Then glucose comes down because it's more than one specific gravity and pH is four, it goes up again. The C4, C3 molecules come to femine and they start floating because less than one. And then the third compartment, which is anaerobic, or you can call it anox anoxic because the DO is 0.5. This is extreme predation in femine, the strong bacteria try to eat up the weaker one and all pathogen elimination, most of it takes place in the third compartment. And SFS emerges out. I had discussed this at length in the first session. Now this is Imhoff type septic tank, which is good for the tropical region. So in the first left half, you have, I have shown you the plan, then the next to our sections. This is the flow. In the section, it happens like this. Out. I'll show you some of the jets, uh, SFS emerging out of this system. This is meander type and Apurva has done a lot of work in his job, in his some of the projects which very offered consultancy. Suppose if the linear length is not available, you can go for a squarish plot and select meander type. And where the water table is very high, up to 600 mm depth also, you can design a system like that. So this is minimal capex opex outlet no single watt of electricity used, no one gram of chemical used. No forming, no phosphate in the solution. So if same thing you want to scale it up. Now, we have done this for one society. The small one is a small square is in the society. There are, there are many more societies that forms an eco village. An eco village has a one accumulation tank, which is black. Then there is second cluster of eco village societies, then third and fourth. All eco villages together, a cluster of villages give us, gives us a town. And many such towns together give us a city. Which we can use this for non portable use. Reduce the distance between toilet and waste treatment. Minimum flush water volume. We have done projects like that. So scalability is not an issue. But to make it at a city level, we need a bigger team of experts engaged with the job. Solid free sewer and SFS to accumulation tank. Tremendous power saving. And STPs are power free, chemical free, no high tech application no expert supervisor 
The cluster of cities give us a mega city. So, debates is not about breaking a large STP into more number of smaller units. Treat each waste on its molecular merits, more so with the hospital discharge, because the superbug has come out of hospital discharge, a lot of uh, antibiotics re are released into the drains, from drains they go to the STP, and more and more bacteria develop resistance. Provide them with condition suitable to microbes. Derive the best of microbial synergy. Jerry Hubbard is uh, an engineer of uh, Jet Propulsion, Propulsion Lab NASA. He says it is easier to think in terms of chemistry rather than in terms of biology, even though we do not understand chemistry. So designing on mass transfer equations without knowledge of genomic engineering has serious consequences. Upper gravitational pool, uh, under gravitational pool, physical separation of organic matter and liquid, seeds and common uh, as common culprit. These are the most common fundamentals on which current uh, SBR, MBR, MBBR, all other plants are designed world over. So the organic matter that we release, it is fed by uh, prokaryotes, which is again uh, taken over by protozoans, then rotifers and worms and daphnia and etc. Cetera, et cetera. So from low specific gravity to high specific gravity as these organisms grow, they call it sedimentation. And then liquid is separated, but there's no treatment. It is from low complex redox potential mo molecules, it converts higher potential molecules. Oops, mixing. Most of the thing they call it about there is a mixing. Now, seed is the common culprit. All seed organisms are members, uh, uh, organisms and members of activated slurred process are exotic in origin. They are courtesy infrastructure and not from our column. Let us see this. This is the history of the planet. Now what happens? 4.54 billion years ago, this earth was born. And on the right we are today. The first half was anoxic world. The lake, second part was oxic world. So anaerobes, aerobes came 3.5 billion years ago. Protozoa came 0.8 billion years ago. So what was this 2.7 billion years of gap? If we are going to frame protozoa as, as the basis, is in MBR, SBR, MBBR, all of yeah. that. I'll hear that. Now, in fact, all these redox potential laws were laid by laid the most important part. Whatever chemical reactions and redox potential laws were laid by prebiotic world before the first life was formed. So, and this has been established by Professor William Smartin and her, his student, uh, a lady student, Jessica Wimmer at, at HHU, HHU. And she has proved that 402 unchanged reactions holding true even today and the same laws prevail. So anything that has come after the laws of nature in the prebiotic world, we cannot alter it. And none of the present books on sewage management are trying to address this. Certainly not the protozoa and aeration. Now this is a page 
from Metcalf Eddy. He says that oxygen is insoluble, the top line. Middle line says O2 absorption is not relevant. And the bottom line, it is from Eddy Metcalf. The last line says it rules out common aeration equipment alternatives. If anybody who has read this book, page 450. Sir, can I ask one question? Yeah, sure, please. As per this slide, if we use any blower for the present STP, yeah. it has no meaning? You mean to say that it is very clearly explained here? It has two areas. It has a meaning in that it is a total waste and liability. Okay. It is a negative meaning. Okay. Number two, more than that, engineers do not read the textbook they follow. They only take multiplication equations and then talk about scaling up. Scaling up is not arithmetic with biological system. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Have, yeah. have I answered your point, sir? Yes. Okay. Now, this is again another reference about, uh, from Duncan Mara and uh, uh, Nigel Horan. They are all exotic species. All the members of activated sludge shown here, none of them exist in our body. So they are courtesy the drainage system. Now, this is an interesting slide. Again, I have taken from Duncan Mara and Nigel Horan page 363. See, these are the poriferans, ciliophora, which have a contractile stalk. They are known as stalked ciliates, which form the chip portion of the sludge, which engineers have problem with. Now, this contractile protein is again aminoglycan and acetate. Now that very acetate was thrown out from our colon after trillions of liters of water and millions of kilowatt energy where we have converted, we have reached from acetate to acetate, which all sludge managers say not easy to degrade and it is a headache for them. This is again an interesting part. I have taken it from Metcalf AD. Why I'm referring to it? Because most of the engineers follow this. All these organisms are again higher organisms. None of them exist in our uh, colon. So two eminent editors, Robert Xavier and Per H. Niel Nielsen said that they are laboratory weeds. There's a book, Microbial Ecology of Activated Sludge. This is one of the finest books I have come across. They are weeds. Now, Met Cafe, entire FM ratio and uh, solid retention time is based on this. We, these organisms have no role. Yes, they convert the semi-soluble or suspended solid into heavier material and separate water and sludge. But sludge proportion is much higher. And Borla on page 106 says that higher the sludge production gives us a better efficiency of the system. That's a hugely flawed inference. Even it has come from Borda, but I'm not inclined to agree with. These are some of my mesogosome studies. A 25 liter per capita climate, that of a Kutch run. No black soil, only desert sand. Temperature 5 to 10 degree in winter and 44 in summer. Annual pre precipitation is 20 millimeter to 200 millimeter. So this is the desert scene. And Elena Solovi says that deserts where 
the face of glaciers. This is my car and I could not come out of the car. It was so hot and I took this picture. So septic tank on the right, Middle East toilet, bath. This is the grease strip. Now grease is again a separate molecule, thermos. It is C16 to C18 molecules. Now this is the ecosan commode where urine and fecal outlets are separate. You can see the P-trap here. You can see the piping done separately. This was Shakti Bhai's project. And you can see the separate green and red, this black and urine lines going separately to different chambers. So we cleaned the plot. Please mark the cottage on the right. We convert, we, everybody, all agriculture is said, do not go for maize because maize requires more water. And we selected maize simply because it is a C4 for, for plant. What is C4 for plant will design, but you can see the pipeline between the, this thing. And on the right, the cabin has been, the roof of the cabin is seen. So in eight weeks, you can see the cabin, you can see myself, Shakti, but took this picture from the toilet uh, roof. And what was eight uh, weeks ago, a barren plot has been converted into this. This is 25 liter per capita fresh water supply, wastewater treated through this septic tank and all that. And this is the agriculture we did. So my fresh irrigation water volume is nil. This is another area, 100, 110 residents Kanya Chhatra Lai. This is girl's toilet, no tape inside. It is a three liter flush volume. One half liter is used for uh, cleansing and two and a half for flushing. Because you can see the septic tank is right behind the toilets. You can see a small trickle. This is that. Solid free sewer. And solid free sewer is the future of microtubular systems. All super dra future drainage should be above the ground. No, no man ever dies entering a hole. And permissible slope is 1 to 200 to 1 to 251. This is another job at Dubai. This was also Shakti Bhai. And this is the job we presented at CPCB Delhi. They came to see this uh, project and they contacted and talked with members separately. We were away. The total water supply was 60 LPCD, 50 liter gray water, 10 liters black water per capita. Now all the tanks were made as im of tropical septic tanks, not the conventional two, three chamber tanks or multi baffle. Now this is the same slide I am repeating, but with a different message. Zero, zero energy, zero chemical, only local supervisor. And here the green is not about color or wavelength. It is a regenerative mass transfer of natural resources. Same thing, so I'm cutting it short. Now, if you want to scale it up, the colon discharge goes to the black water septic tank. The rest of the water goes to the gray water septic tank. All their supernatant come to a, an accumulation tank, which goes to a wetland. Now, wetland is a very complex system. It is media plus vegetation plus water plus wastewater plus microbes and of course, wind and sun and temperature and other physical conditions. This goes to rhizome ecology. Now, what is a blue carbon? 
Rhizome is known as blue carbon because the sulfur and nitrogen ratio is 1 to 36 or maybe 37. In conventional sewage sludge aeration, the sludge sulfur nitrogen ratio is 1 to 16. And therefore, in conventional STPs, nitrogen sink is not enough. And nitrous oxide generation, N2O generation in STP is eight times higher than in PD or estuaries. Even a drop on the soil should be looked at as mini wetland because all principles are in operation irrespective of the size of the pond and, and it provides the carbon and nitrogen sink and phosphate is in a bound form so there is no question of there is no question of uh, eutrophication how microbial fuel cells operate it is here all the yellow part is shown as, uh, as soluble organics around the sand the rhizome is developing. Now here it has developed more. The water is changing. Okay. Now, the rhizome provides the ultimate water unwise, high energy use, uneconomic, non-sustainable. So in less than one second, my tds has increased by 16 percent and i'm spreading salt through sprinklers now igbc code 2017 says it should be six millimeter of water per square meter per day for at least 300 days in our experiment it was 0.8 millimeter per square meter per day. This is green. Quite often engineers talk about norms, codes and policies, but they are really in need of scientific input. In my view, IGBC page 46, it's six millimeter is something we cannot afford. So this is what how, how we did this we put the subsurface irrigation and subsurface irrigation does not necessarily mean below the ground it can be below the trench also uh, in below the mulch in a trench what was this turned into this without a drop of topsoil irrigation so take home Treat waste on the molecular merits. No mixed first, separate later approach. Allow microbial synergy to express. Fundamental science is crucial for survival. Intelligent design is about cost to the environment and then to our pocket. How can we have a healthy life on a sick planet? Can we fix the sick planet? Yes only if we understand nature. Thanking you.